You know what would help if I actually put the game in? Welcome back, gracious viewers, to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. I'm Arbitrary Rose. And I'm Valkyrie Girl. And in the last episode, we wrapped up Beast Makers. And carried on to Magic Crafters. I'm sorry, my brain isn't working right now. <laughs> this place is trippy. But the fun kind. But the fun kind of trippy. The so much more fun. Trippy. Than Beastmakers. Oh yes, we've it's just been complaining this whole time about Beastmakers. <laughs> Beastmakers, of you guys were there, so you know. Beastmakers was special. <laughs> but now, not so. Not now so. Now we get to attack little bouncing mushrooms made of joy and happiness. Go to places like Dark Passage. And it's so full of bright and happy colors and empty abysses instead of swamps and bogs. Oh crap! That's unkillable. Our first unkillable enemy. Oh crap! It's gonna knock you off the edge of the world. I know. Don't let it happen. I know. Bad things are gonna, gonna happen. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. There's Wait some, for the laser beam. There's some jerk there magic go. laser flying around. There is some jerk. Eventually I will hunt that jerk down. He but until pay then. for being a jerk. <laughs> but until then, we're just gonna have to deal, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ow! Eh, the little <laughs> I'm so inept right now. Little pixie hobo man. It's all the residual beast makers. Yep, it's all the residual beast makers. Just, it's, it's it's just bad. Whoa, sparks went away. Yeah, I got smacked too many <laughs> times. <laughs> oh no. Latif. Latif. Welcome to the Dream Weavers, young one. Hi, As Latif. Minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Ooh, cryptic. All kinds, of, just like a dream. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty dragons are pretty. Pretty dragons are so pretty. Ah! The trust! The trust! The trust <laughs> tried to kill you. Yep, there was an attempted murder right there. <laughs> murder! Murder! <-der! laughs> Whoa. On the subject of pretty dragons, though, I'm gonna have to say that Dreamweaver's dragons are probably my favorite. I think I knew that. I don't know why, I just they're they're pretty colors and they have pretty shapes and those people are scary. Dancing and, and that's invincible and yeah. they have weird shaped heads. Oh miss. They kind of look like Beaker. Beaker? The Muppet? Oh they, they totally do! Haha! <laughs> 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 Terrifying me, Beaker. Me, 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 me. Beaker. I remember Beaker. Beaker. Yes. Like from Muppet Christmas Carol. Which is really Apart from Muppet Treasure Island. We never watched the Muppet actual Muppet show. Nope. We just watched various Muppet movies. Yep. Which the I bit guess... the bit in Muppet Treasure Island where the pirate guy dies at the beginning, and they're like, He died! It always freaked me out, like when I was little. It was yeah. like, Oh gosh, somebody died. Like I'd watched movies before where people died. Yeah. But it usually was like somebody's parent or I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Which, 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 so it was sad, and I cried because I was a little weepy child. Yeah, well. But when... That was, like, I think one of the first times I watched a movie where somebody died that nobody really cared about. Just somebody but it was just, healed over. It, then he was dead, and it was just like, I don't know how to handle this particular event that... What? <laughs> then it was Muppets. So. But then it was Muppets, and it skimmed over it pretty quick. Oh no! Do oh, it! It's yeah. I forgot it auto locked. Yes. Nailed it! I think you got them all. Yep, we're good. <laughs> Just that extra spin for good measure. Always, you want to check and make sure. Zikomo. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. With I'll be done when I pretty told pretty you colors. That nasty Nork. Yeah. Pretty colors. That is. That one was probably the most unique of all the dragons, like coloring wise and yeah. build wise. You know, most of the Dreamweaver's dragons have like a very pastel color palette, mm -hmm. but that one definitely had very dark, dark, dark tones, colors in it. Like under his head. And no. <laughs> There's gems here somewhere. I know there are. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Hiding in a corner. Trixie gems. Whoa, don't uh, no. <laughs> don't go into the portal. <laughs> Th 
throw off the entire groove of the whole Let's Play. Oh gosh, the world's ending. Yep, and it would be all my fault. Ah, uh, whatever. And then... It could be exciting. It could be. Woo! Ah, come back. Little timer magickers. Little timer guys. Little timer Little guys. living timers. It's kind of... Creepy? Yeah, definitely creepy. I'm gonna go with creepy. No, do that again. <laughs> Save the dragon. What are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's the poor dragon is just sitting there. <laughs> like, wait, come back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maisie. Poor Maisie. I'm sorry. The fools you see in this world your are pink invincible, wings. but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Oh, he's fine. He's just, you know, promoting violence. He's good. Yep. He's perfectly well, well, well recovered. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Going back to the. You have oh, to use those right. things. That's right. <laughs> the, these these islands are not connected in any other way except but, by magical whirlwinds. Yep. But you know, if you think about it from this perspective, the the only inhabitants of these islands are dragons, apart from the weird weird creatures that probably don't belong there, anyways. Mm -hmm. And dragons can fly. Yeah, that, that's kind of why I always wondered why they have these little whirlwinds. Because it makes sense for Spyro to be able to get around. But Spyro's not from this homeworld. Spyro's from artisans. So why did the mag or the Dreamweavers have magical whirlwinds to take them everywhere? Could be for their own baby dragon. I, I suppose. Know. There could be other baby dragons. But you never see any other baby dragons. No, you only see adult dragons. Except for Spyro. He's a little weirdo. Maybe they all went on family vacations. <laughs> they all got like a two minute heads up that Nasty was about to bring around the crystal apocalypse. Ugh. The crystal apocalypse! Ah, brats. Oh, biscuit. And... Oh, you can totes make it! You can do it! Yes! yes. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it! Uh, Abandoned. Wanna... Oh wait, I can still make it back. Yeah. I'm good. There's 30 gems sitting there. I know. Don't abandon them! They love you! I know! I'm sorry, Jabs, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to escape the explosion. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. We do. We still love you. Hey, look, look at that. 300 gems. Sweet. And so. Yeah. The dragons. Yeah. The Dreamweaver's homeworld is complete. Huzzah! Where do you want me to drop you off? Anywhere is fine. Icy flight? Wait, did you do the last flight? Yes. Yes. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure something else out. Yes. I will backtrack. Oh, and... wait. What's this one? Woo! Lofty, Lofty cast. Castle. Sounds good to me. Okie doke. Next time, we will be doing that. Sounds Until like then. Bye bye. Toodles. <laughs>